What if other parents sign child up three days per week for sports on 75% of my time every Saturday and Sunday? Look at your agreement. Typically, and what we try to always write into our agreements is that any activity that falls during the other parent's time has to be agreed upon beforehand. Now, some of this depends on the age of your child too and what they want to be doing because we had a case where the kids were in high school and she'd gotten invited onto the varsity team, you know, to try out and then be a part of that. But the dad in this situation, he lived about 45 minutes away from where the kids went to school. And he said, no, I don't want to have to bring you to your sports. I don't want to have to do that. But because sports are seen as an important thing for children, and especially because of their age, it was something that the children were wanting and not just what the other parent was signing them up for. That dad actually gave up all his parenting time and said, well, I don't want to do it. So you know, mom can have the kids 100% of the time because I'm not bringing them to their sports. It wasn't a great situation, but we've had situations where they're little kids or they're in competitive gymnastics or competitive soccer, and they're doing three different sessions in a single day. If you can get written in that if it's agreed, if it's not agreed upon, you don't have to bring them. Or, you know, even if you specifically say, this is too much, you know, we can't do this. I think 75%, three days a week, most judges are gonna feel that that might be a little excessive. And I've heard that from judges, that if a parent's just signing them up like crazy, you know, that's too much. So we've also done things where we limit it and say one child cannot do more than two activities every quarter. So there's ways in order to be able to fix that. 